some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Danbury, Connecticut with Sean Paul Reyes, a.k.a. the Long Island Frauditor where he is trying to get an interview with the mayor, only to get ignored by him and everybody else around there. I mean, oh, the poor little frauditor getting ignored. Well, if you stop treating everybody like piles of crap, maybe you'd get a better response out of people, especially since you claim to be a journalist, but you have no morals or ethics whatsoever, and that can be proven in your all your videos. So, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Guys, so this is where the mayor is having a groundbreaking ceremony. Let's see if we can ask him some questions of the free press. Exercise our First Amendment right here. Mr. Mayor! Do you have any comment to one of your Danbury police officers? Not right now. Thank wit you very wit much. Witness tampering. Have a great wit day. Witness tampering. Yeah, he was witness tampering and saying homophobic slurs. Do you have any comment, Mr. Mayor? Thank you. Do you have any comment on the homophobic slurs? No comment on homophobic slurs by one of your sergeants in the police department, sir. No comment whatsoever. What about 20 years ago I'd have been dead with my teeth missing? Can you assure the Danbury residents that Officer Ken Utter can protect them, sir? Can you assure the residents of Danbury here that Officer Ken Utter can protect them, sir? Do you have any comments, sir? No comment right now. Excuse me, sir? No comment. Oh, Jesus. No, no comment on 20 years ago I'd have been dead? I mean, it's, 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 an, easy, it's an easy opinion to have. You can just comment, right? It's pretty easy. Oh, gee, I can understand why nobody wants to talk to you, considering how much you tend to lie on your videos. Oh yeah, it's not just the lies, it is your criminal background. That, as well as everything else about you, I would be I was unresponsive too if you walked up to me and shoved a camera and microphone in my face. Because you are definitely the type of person that will twist the word somebody says in your favor, even if it wasn't originally there's nothing wrong with it you got it you to, to answer a question sir where's the transparency mr mayor do you think that calling somebody a homophobic slur is a good thing mr mayor do you think that's acceptable as a police police officer sergeant of your department thank you for coming i appreciate it i will not comment right now thank you you're not going to comment on a homophobic right slur now. sir thank you very much witness tampering thank you. evidence tampering coaching by your police department sir this is important information sir the, the, the people want to know all right, guys, we're going we're gonna to let him do his uh, little spiel over here, and when he's leaving, we'll ask him again. He doesn't want to answer any questions here. He doesn't want to answer any questions. Why don't we all ask the mayor? Why don't we, we need to ask the mayor some important questions here. Homophobic slurs and evidence tampering by the, by the Danbury Police Department. Look, everybody's mad. Everybody gets mad when you bring out the truth here. Why? What's wrong with the truth? What's wrong with transparency? Oh yeah, look at all those angry people over there. They look like they're ready, willing, and able to tear this place down. Yeah, definitely looks like they're about ready to tear this place down, Sean. Too bad it's all in your head. Everybody's just ignoring you. Nobody cares about you. I mean, at this point, it's like an old man shouting at clouds. That's all you look like right now. What's wrong with it? Where's Jen? Jen! <laughs> Jen Geigler, do you have any comment on your uh, on allegations that you perjured yourself in trial? No, no comment. No comment? No comment. You have no comment on the allegations that you perjured yourself in trial? None. Nice to see you. It's good to see you too, Miss Geigler. I missed you at the city hall earlier. I know. But people, are, but the people who are watching the trial are saying that you perjured yourself, sir. Did you watch? Ma'am, excuse me. Did you watch it? I did. I believe you perjured yourself as well. Oh, I don't. You don't believe you perjured yourself. Have a good day. 
Sturdivant, aren't you in charge of internal affairs, sir? I used to be, Sean. How are you? You're not in charge of internal affairs anymore. No, I'm not. I'm now the deputy chief. You Now you are the deputy chief? Yes. Are you aware that Sergeant Acabellis was caught body camera evidence tampering, evidence tampering for my trial, and said that I was a FAG? Sean, you are a content creator on YouTube. Are you telling me you can't handle somebody calling you a name like that? Well, if you can't handle that, you know what you should do. You should just go ahead and quit YouTube entirely because it's going to be a common occurrence with any YouTube creator. I thought you knew that, my man. He covered it up by removing the audio from my discovery. Do you have any comments? No, I have not seen that video yet. I can send it to you if you like. I'm sure Internal Affairs is already looking into it. Yeah, I've, I went there. I went there and filed a complaint. Yeah, okay. and, and he's coaching. No, no comment on the allegations that he was coaching a suspect on what to write in his report. Is that Danbury? Comment on any is that Danbury that police? Is that Danbury police officer? Uh, Danbury police department policy to coach a witness? I have no comments for you today, Sean. He admitted on the stand he was coaching him. Is that is coaching a, an acceptable word? I have no comments for you today, Sean. No comments. What about you, sir, Captain? Do you have any comments? We have mechanisms in place for any allegations that you're making, and they'll, they'll follow their way through. They're not. I mean, they're facts. They're, they're on video, okay. sir. That's. I understand. Okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. All right. This is the old mayor here. He was the mayor when I was um, unlawfully arrested. Do you have any comment on the, the, the prosecution? You had a lot to say on the radio. You know, Sean, don't you really see the conflict of interest in you trying to badger information about your own cases out of these people? Because a normal person would not be doing this and digging their grave deeper and deeper as they go. But we all know how Sean is. He's a unique snowflake. He believes that the rules don't apply to him. I did. You did. You did a radio interview concerning the library incident, did you not? I don't recall. Don't recall. I don't recall. Don't recall. That's, you sound like Janice Geigler on the stand. Oh. <laughs> Don't recall. So now we have the deputy chief. He used to be in charge of internal affairs. I saw him at the mayor's uh, coronation. Where's Patrick Rittenauer, the police chief? Many, many minutes later. Mr. Mayor, what about the education for the Danbury Police Department, sir? 20 years ago, I'd be dead with my teeth missing. Officer Ken Utter did it, would do it himself. Where's the accountability? Your police department says homophobic slurs, sir. Do you, the people of Danbury, you don't care, right? Because it's not happening to you. Oh, Sean, finally something we agree on. Yeah, it's not happening to them. It's happening to you. And do you know why it's happening to you? Because you are a delusional jackass who thinks the world revolves around him. And now, because you're facing the consequences of your own actions, you're getting upset and all butthurt over it because you're now paying the price, even if it's a small price. But the price will continue to get bigger and bigger as you go along. So, actions have consequences, and you are facing the consequences of your own actions. Deal with it. Mayor Esposito, the homophobic slurs that were set on body camera by your sergeant, Yacobellis, of the, your police department, sir. Thank you for coming. The evidence tampering. The evidence tampering. The evidence tampering, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll check. I gotta let this guy get in first. He moves a little slow. Yeah, you're just blocking me so I can't no, get to the no, mayor. It's an older guy. Excuse me, mayor. Why don't you have any comment on all the corruption in your police department, sir? Why do you not have any comment on the corruption in your police department, sir? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Residents of Danbury, 20 years ago, I'd have been dead with my teeth missing. I might not be a resident, but that's heinous behavior by the Danbury Police Department. No accountability. Zero. Homophobic slurs. Evidence tampering. Where's the accountability? 
We're going to go outside. The, the mayor ran from us. Can we go get our posters from the photo apps? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go get them. I want to tell I want to let the world know though. Everyone. Well now, there you have it, folks. He just whined and cried for the next 15 minutes because he couldn't get any satisfaction because he's a butt-hurt little moron. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.